2016 and 2017 season. This is contained in the document from the Marketing Board, the Coffee and Cocoa Council. Exporters say that the measure was intended to help companies avoid defaulting on contracts and could involve between 60,000 and 120,000 tons of beans. However, cocoa arrivals at uh, Ivory Coast two ports dropped by nearly 13% in 2015 uh, and 2016 compared to the previous season. The lower output caused by poor weather left many exporters struggling to find beans to fill contracts. The 2016 and 2017 season opened at the start of October. Now, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has announced that the federal government will cease to fund the joint venture cash calls estimated at $9 billion annually with effects from January 2017. The national oil firm also noted that aside from the inherited arrears estimated at over $6 billion, the underfunding of NNPC cash calls is estimated to be about $2.5 billion in 2016 alone. Adam Aquesa is a research analyst with the Financial Directors Company Limited and he joins us from Lagos. Adam, thank you for your time. Like I said, the thank NNPC you. has announced it will stop funding the JB cash call to the tune of $9 billion in January next year because of underfunding. How does this come across to you? Well, I think this is, is a very good development, considering that the country has been struggling to meet its financial obligations with the joint ventures for years. So the implication of this move is by, that by resorting to an alternative funding arrangement, JVs will be able to relieve the government of this cash call burden by so using ex other sources of finance to source their to finance their operations. So and this can lead to about eight billion dollars per annum in savings for the government. And with that the NFPC will be able to contribute contribute more to the Federation account. Now talking yes, about okay. Talking about saying? alternative sources of funding, the national oil firm uh, hinted on plans to seek alternative funding for the JV cash call in order to reduce the burden on government. Do you think this move will be a successful one? Yes, indeed. I think it is a very good development. The finance minister has long called that the, this arrangement needs to be altered as a way to get this economy out of the recession. But it's for, that essentially means that instead of using money to pay debt, to pay our cash call burden, we can use money to finance critical sectors of the of the economy. So it's a very good development going forward. So hopefully it will be approved by the government and a new arrangement will be will be result will be ready by January twenty seventeen. Now the NNPC GMD Dr. May County Barrow pointed out that the corporation wants the joint venture business to fund itself by retaining its operating costs and capital allowances in order to sustain and grow the business. What do you make of this decision? Do you think this will work out as planned? Oh, I think it's a, very it's a very possible option. And apart from that, the, they, can use, they can use external sources of finance. And there's also another way called an MCA, Modified Carried Agreement, which they can use. So instead of having to pay debt instead of having to pay a certain amount, which considering that considering the state of the economy that the country is broke, we don't have any money to pay. So by retaining uh, our operational costs and capital costs, we can relieve that burden of paying paying debts to, for, for these JVs. So it's a very good development all in all. So can we say that the NNPC is broke going by its withdrawal from the JV cash call. Exactly, yes. The country is broke. That's, that's the reality we face today. The country is broke. There's no money. Now, the NNPC seems to have a lot to deal with at this time from repair of vandalized pipelines, which would cost so much money to get some funding for its operation. If the NNPC goes ahead with sourcing for alternative funding, does it stand to gain anything from it? 
Can you repeat your question, please? Can the, will the NMPC gain anything from this uh, decision to uh, seek alternative uh, funding? Because at this time, it has to deal with other problems. We see in the vandalized pipelines, which will require it to spend a lot of money to repair. And of course, getting funding for, for its operation as well. What benefits would this decision bring to the NNPC? Well, I think there's no other option. The money, NNPC doesn't have any money to fund its JV, so he has to source, he has to look for other sources of finance to fund its JVs. So I think that's the only option on the table. It can't, IOCs have been stalling their financial final investment decisions because of this dispute, because of the money owed to them by the government. So if there's an alter alternative funding arrangement brought to the table now, these IOCs can proceed with their final investment decisions. And okay, just before I, I let you go, Adim, I want to ask you about oil prices, which have slipped. Uh, Brent is down to $46 per barrel as U.S. stockpiles rises and exports increases by 35 percent, which is regarded as the highest since 2010. How will this affect plans by OPEC, uh, which will be meeting at the end of November, to cap output in a bid to drive prices? Well, I think this rise in U.S. inventories was mainly driven by a new case in U.S. imports, which was expected considering this time of the year, the U.S. usually imports more oil. But I think on November 30th, there should be some form of agreement. There should be some form of, of agreement, which looks like a production cut. But at the end of the day, I think the devil will be in the details. Going forward, when data from these exporting countries starts to flow, as data from December, December and January, and if there's no evidence of a production cut, then okay. market can tank, and that will be very bad for oil prices. Thank you so much for your insight. Adin Okwesa, research analyst with the Financial Derivatives Company Limited. We'll go on a break and when Business Incorporated returns, we'll be taking you through more information on the commodities markets. Please stay with us.